Dreamland was directed by Angel Has Fallen's Rick Roman Wall. And the story follows a family who struggles through a series of cataclysmic events when a planet-killing comet races to Earth. Like nobody, this story has been told countless of times. We've seen it in Geostorm, we've seen it definitely in 2012, Twister and Armageddon, and so on and so forth. But this movie is very different. This has a kind of a unique story, which I'll start in with the positives. The story was pretty heart-touching. It was pretty heartfelt. It was powerful. It was, it was about this family who, without giving too much away, gets split up and then they try to find each other and then they run into some unscrupulous characters. Kind of like a Walking Dead scenario, only with asteroids falling. Yeah. It's something you'd expect from a movie like this, but again, it was different. It was different than most of the others that we've seen. Mostly because it was so character driven. You know, most of these others like Geostorm and the aforementioned movies I just mentioned, they focus more on the event, like the comet hitting Earth and the military trying to, you know, strike at it and do what they can to stop these things from happening. The storm chasers chasing twisters. They didn't go that route in this. They decided to focus more on the characters and them trying to survive. Like I say, it was kind of a kind of like a Walking Dead scenario, and like, you know how the zombies are just like the background of that show. Well, in this, it's like the comet. Like you know, it was happening. It showed you glimpses of the sky and like the news announcements and all that stuff. You knew it was happening. You knew it was coming. But from the humans, from the characters' perspective, it wasn't all solely the military focusing on the military trying to figure out how to stop this thing. It wasn't like that. It was more character driven than anything else. It focuses so much on the emotional aspect and I think that's actually a nice change of pace. They were focused on the event, but more on the human side of it. There was even this kid, you know, that was a part of the family that really gets to you. And he says a line at the end about how your life flashes before your eyes when you die. It sounded so wise coming from what I assume was like a 10 or 11 year old, maybe younger. And you know, with most movies, you have the kid that just stands in the background and cries, which he did in this. I mean, come on, we're all human and he was a kid. But in most movies, you don't really see them say wise things the way he did. And it really made you like that character even more. And it really made you feel for the characters even more. And I really liked that. That was really smart to write that in the script for him to say, for him to say something that wise. And like I said, with in, mo in most movies that has kids in it, they don't really give them much to do. But in this, they gave him some smart lies to say. And Jar Butler, as usual, was great. It, it, that man can act. Whether it's comedy, drama, or action, he got skills. The direction, this came from the same guy that gave us Angels Fallen, Snitch, and just the last couple of movies, him and Gerard Butler has worked together in both movies. And I hear, I looked it up and I think they're doing some other movie in the future as well. That, that says they're in, in pre-production on IMDb. I forget what the name of it is, but it's an upcoming movie that also stars Gerard Butler and directed by the same guy. So I can tell that this guy, that the director and Gerard Butler has a great working relationship. But the guy who directed this film, I thought he did a really good job. He's becoming a really great director in my eye. Even though the, the direction was good, even the camera angles and the special effects was great. Didn't look cheesy or anything. I, I liked what I saw. However, and let's slide into the mixed. Walking into this or rolling into this, I was expecting a lot of action. And I really shouldn't do that. As long as I've watched movies and has gotten disappointed with some of them in the past, I really shouldn't let my expectations be this high. I honestly thought I was going to watch something like Geostorm or 2012 or, or something like that that focused more on the action in those films. But in this, as much as I like the story and the human emotions and the heartfelt acting in this and the story, action, I was a little bit disappointed. As I stated before, this movie focuses more on the character, which I'm fine with. I mean, it's, it's a nice change of pace, but uh, if you're expecting action, 
like I did, you'll be a little bit disappointed. It showed uh, scenes here and there with the asteroids falling, but it was mostly in context. I mean, you see it falling, but most of the time you don't really see the impact. You don't really see much of the action. It was mostly context. I mean, plain and simple. I don't know how else to put it. But the heartfelt emotions and the way that they wrote the characters, I cared for them. I was with them all the way. This family who was just struggling through this hard, horrid time and just trying to get to where they were going, I, that made up for it. I actually felt deep emotions there, and it was... It was enough to make me kind of cry a little bit, and most of the time I don't cry in movies, but this one almost, uh, keyword, almost did. Which is a good thing, because otherwise I wouldn't have liked this movie as much. Because I'm all about the action, but if the story is good enough, like it was in this, then hell yeah, I, I'll give it a chance, and I will like it. Just for that purpose alone. Which is why I put it in the mixed. Even though there wasn't that much action, which is what I really love, this movie still had heartfelt emotions to it. And for a story to be told that way, if you don't have enough action in it, then you have to have a good story just like that. And that's how I felt. I, I thought that made up for it pretty good. Like I said, I was with the characters all the way. I, I liked Gerard Butler. I liked his wife, which I've seen in Deadpool and Gotham. I liked her. I liked the kid. I liked all the characters in this. They didn't really disappoint. Hang on, Nathan. Seek shelter immediately. Seek shelter immediately. If you're expecting much action, you'll be disappointed. But if you like and appreciate good storytelling with a lot of heart, Greenland is for you. Watch it and enjoy its sweet delight. So Greenland, have you seen it yet? Are you a fan? Is this your favorite disaster movie? Or have you seen better? Or do you think that this genre has run its course? Leave me a comment down below and give me your thoughts. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. Like, subscribe, comment, and share. And I will see you on the next one. Peace the rep out.